So at first glance, candy and bunnies and eggs seem like such a silly representation of this holy day that we're getting ready to celebrate where we remember how Jesus died and was crucified and was resurrected to new life and what do those have to do with each other. But all those things, bunnies and eggs, they represent new life. They point to new life. And that's what we're celebrating at Easter. It's about Jesus who lived the perfect life but then was brutally murdered on a cross and then laid in a grave for three days. Evil rejoiced, death thought that it would won, his followers mourned. But then three days later, Jesus rose from the grave, beat death, and life began. So we don't have to strive anymore because Jesus has already done it. But so many of us are living lives of of trying to keep up our appearance or checking off the to-do list and going through the motions of life but not really living. Is there ever a point where we can sit back and say, it's enough, I'm good. There's so much emptiness there and there's so much not enough. But Jesus calls us to something more. He calls us to abundant life. He said, come to me so you may have life and life to the full. What does that even look like? What does real life look like? It's a resurrection just as Jesus was resurrected. At Easter, we remember, oh, Jesus made everything new. And so I'm gonna die to that old pattern, to the old way of thinking and doing, and I'm gonna let him raise me up to new life. So you want joy? You want peace, satisfaction, significance? It's found at the cross. It's found at Easter. It's found with new life. Life begins at Easter.